hello everyone welcome to this course on learning C programming with the help of examples now in this course we will be covering all the basics starting from the input output the declaration and initialization of the variables the different data types the decision making the looping statements the functions the pointers, union structures, everything. So let's begin. So far throughout this course, we will be covering a lot of programs and learn to code with the help of these example programs. So what I've done is I've created a list of tasks to be completed every week and we will be going through it one by one every week so this is the link of the task that uh, that i've created for you to practice so let i have already opened this and let's go to the slide where it says week one basic input and output so if i click on today's task you can slide to the first slide that says task one and the first program is really very simple and it says to write a program to print your name on screen so this is just to get you acquainted with how input and output in the C programming works so let's begin programming so if you have already installed a suitable IDE for developing or for writing your code you can start that uh, id i have installed code blocks over here and i will be using code blocks throughout this uh, course you may use any editor of your choice and here i'm going to use gcc compiler i've already uh, a, a created a tutorial on how to install code blocks and how to compile your programs using code blocks to begin with we will start by creating a new file go to file new uh, empty file the first thing that I do is always to save the file I will go to file save file and I will save it on my desktop with a name let's say task 1 once I save it now I am ready to start writing the codes now before I start writing any code in any language I would like to I like to uh, create the skeleton of the program so in every C program starts with a template so in my case the template is what I always start with so this is my template So this is my template that uh, we will be using to write uh, most of the programs uh, in our task. So now since this I am going to uh, use every now and then, I would like to save it somewhere. So what I usually do is I save it as a template file, template.c and then whenever i want to create new task i just say open that file and save it again as task one task two task three like that this is one way of doing it another way that i like uh, a little better is you can go to view and enable the code snippets 
so it comes somewhere over here then copy this entire thing from here and go to code snippets and right click and click on add snippets and here you can just paste your code and just name it let's see template okay so now what happens is you got the C template code snippet and whenever you want I can just just let's say we you started with a blank file all you have to do is click drag it over here and leave it and you can see I have got the uh, template all ready to go so now let's begin with our first program now our first program says that I have to uh, print my name on the screen so so the first thing is whenever I write a program I should always know what program I'm going I'm developing so what I do is in this particular uh, comment section I always start with the program that I'm writing and then I fill up my name now these things are not compulsory but this is just a programming standard that I follow after that now I begin my programming now to print my name the command that we use in C is printf and inside the quotes you can it should be a double quotes and inside these double quotes you can write anything that you want to be printed on the screen so if I just save this and if I want to run it I can click on this icon over here or I can go over here and click on build and run or I can click directly F9 on my keyboard so if I click that I get a simple Shiburaj P that is my name on the screen so that completes our first task for the week